Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shima and this is In Plain Sight to Row and I am back with another pick a card reading for you guys. And this time this pick a card reading is about why do people fall in love with you? Why are people falling in love with you? Um, what makes people fall in love with you? Okay, and we'll see who is in love with you if there's anyone in love with you, which I assume there must be someone out there who is in love with you. If not, um, someone will fall in love with you, okay? <laughs> All right, so um, yeah, before we get into the reading, I would like to welcome in to all of my new subscribers and welcome back to all of my existing subscribers. Welcome back to all of you. Thank you so much for being with me here at my channel. Okay, and um, I appreciate all of you. Thank you so much for all the love and support that you guys show me always, always, always. I'm so thankful for each and every one of you. And also, um, I'd like to remind you guys that I am still having a 50% discount off of all of my reading rates. So until the 21st of July. So if you want to take advantage of um, the discount, uh, I suggest you make a booking now, okay? Or before the 21st of July, all right? And uh, also, um, yeah, uh, I still haven't uh, filmed my uh, Q&A video yet because I'm still collecting um, questions. And uh, so if you have any questions uh, or any curiosities about me, you can ask them down in the comment section. Um, and also I'll be announcing the winners of the free, free reading giveaway uh, in that video and also the winner of the free um, distance healing Reiki healing session, all right, um, in that video. So keep a lookout for that. Uh, I'll be filming that sometime next week because I need to plan a bit for that. I don't know why, but <laughs> yeah, because I need to like collect all the questions that I want to answer. Um, so yeah, anyways, is there anything else? I think that's it. Uh, let's get straight into the pals, you guys. Okay, um, so as usual, we have three pals to choose from, but before you choose your pals, surround yourself in iridescent white light. If you don't know what that looks like, it's up here on screen for you right now, okay? So close your eyes and imagine that white light around you. And then when you're ready, you can go ahead and choose your pals. Do not overthink your intuition. When choosing your pals. And if you need to take a longer look at the pals, just pause the video, you guys. If not, we can get straight into pal number one. Okay, so pal number one, pal number one, pal number one, pal number one. You chose this strange card, I am forgiving. I am forgiving, okay? So there's this alien-like creature right on here. So I'm going to channel a bit off of this. Wait, before I channel, I almost forgot that I want to use the sound bowl to clear the energy and also get a feel of your vibration. Let's see. Why do people fall in love with you? Okay, that was nice. All right, so why do people fall in love with you? First of all, I'm hearing Aquarius, so maybe some of you are Aquarius or you have some Aquarius in your chart, especially your top four, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Okay, um, I'm seeing that. I'm also seeing that you are obviously quite forgiving here. You're quite chirpy too. I'm hearing like you're always in a good mood. You're always showing to the world that you're a good mood, even though you're, you know, you might be sad because this this uh, creature, 
<laughs> I'm gonna call it creature creature here um, she has a teardrop okay on her eye so even though you are sad even though you're crying you're still you know this to me looks like she's putting up the peace sign you know the alien peace sign okay so even though you're sad or even though you are um, you know or if something is hurting you you people can tell in your eyes that you are sad all right that you are that you have that you're going through something okay but at the same time you still want peace you're you're still you're still you're, you're not you're not uh, what would you call it you're not bitter okay you don't you don't it's almost like you don't spread your bitterness around all right you still keep this soft heart you see how she's um, holding this feather up to her heart okay so you always 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 want to soften your heart even though you are hurting all right and this is I think this is why people fall in love with you because you have this softness around you okay I think you think a lot I'm being drawn to her like her bald head here you 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 understand where people are coming from even though people hurt you you know so and people can tell this about you in your eyes like when they look at your eyes when they look into your eyes they know you're going through something they know you're you're sad but and it's almost like you you're not you're not adverse to 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 um, expressing your sadness it could be that you are quite vulnerable you're easy to be it's, it's almost like uh, you're it's easy to show off like not to show off it's easy for you to express your vulnerability yes that's it it's easy for you to easy is not the word <laughs> but you do show your vulnerability I think that's it you you tend to show your vulnerability and this is what makes people fall in love with you well, fall in love with you and people like um, have this soft spot for you I'm hearing like some somebody somebody has a soft spot for you because you're able to show your vulnerability and you're you kind of bear it all it's almost like I think you guys have been cheated on like many many times before I'm hearing okay you've been cheated on you you've you've been hurt many many times before and it's almost like you you've always wanted to be chosen okay you've all but but usually you don't get chosen but then you manage to forgive those people who don't choose you you know even though you're sad look at this like oh my god You still have that compassion like for others because you understand like you kind of understand where they're coming from someone is going to choose you okay there's someone here who is going to choose you, all right? Because they see you as this unique. This is not someone. This is like this creature is not some some something that you come across every day, right? And she looks absolutely. She's so cute. You see that? Like she has this cute, cutesy face, right? So you might have like this baby face. You know, you have you might have like this soft face. You might have soft eyes, and it's like when when people look at you and people see you, they tend to think like. How can anyone hurt you, you know? Why would anyone want to hurt you? You're the kind of woman any man would be something to know, so would be lucky to know, you know? you see the beauty and sadness maybe you know you maybe you're one of these 
you, the art is that you use your pain. You use your pain to, um, to express your sadness, to express your pain, to express whatever it is. But, but you, you, there's a softness about you. There's a softness in your eyes. There's a softness in your face that people notice. Okay, and somebody notices it. you're always choosing peace but you tend to you tend to take on it's, it's almost like martyrdom is that it you're like you take on that pain it's okay it's like it's okay fine I'll take on that pain you know like like I'm, I, I don't get chosen so you know but I understand why someone else someone else gets chosen or something like that right but 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 you need to know that you Will be chosen. I'm drawn to. I'm drawn to this. This creature's eyes. She. She reminds me of um, this one um, actress. She was in Charmed. Not. Not Charmed. Was it Charmed? I don't know if you. You. You can tell. Like which actress? I forgot. She has like this really, you know. demure, sad, feminine face. When people look at your face, they know that you're thinking, they know that you're feeling something, they, they know that you're, you're going through something, you know? You think a lot, you, you tend to be in your head a lot, okay? You have a soft heart, okay? No, I feel like crying because I'm like tuning into your emotions. You know, if you are more vulnerable, vulnerable with people, like I'm sure, I'm sure whoever it is that you've been vulnerable with in the past, they will fall in love with you. They will choose you, okay? This person chooses you. I don't know who I'm talking about. I don't know who I'm tuning into, but someone is choosing you. Someone will choose you, okay? Someone will see your pain and they will want to take care of you. They will want to take that pain away from you, all right? They will. And I'm sorry if you, you you haven't been able to experience like softer love, right? From someone. But understand that you deserve this. You're so forgiving. There's nothing wrong with you, okay? There's nothing wrong with you. There's nothing... I'm tuning into an empath here, definitely. But I'm tuning into, like, maybe you're more of an artist. Maybe you, you're a musician, you're an artist. You, you feel pain. You, you use that pain to... to to turn it into art, to turn it into music, to turn it into something beautiful here. Those people that hurt you in the past, they would They'll remember you, okay? One day, they will realize your compassion, your empathy, and your forgiveness, even though they don't deserve it. 
even though you feel like they don't deserve it yes you've been but you you've never it's it's, it's almost like I've, i'm sensing like you you have never felt like you had the need to hurt that person back or get back at that person or get revenge you know it's almost like yeah you alchemize that pain into art all right <clears throat> okay getting a bit emotional there pile number one okay so i'm seeing that you also people fall in love with you because of the way you you, you you're very unique here you live your life in a very unique way. I feel like someone is in love with you. I'm sensing, like, yeah, baby, I'm yours. Yeah, somebody here is in love with you. They will choose you, okay? Always keep that heart soft. Okay, I'm being asked to remind you of that. Always keep that heart soft. You have a magic. That's where your magic is. Keeping your heart soft. Always forgiving. The universe is going to shower you with abundance in the form of art. Okay? Some of you are amazing artists. have the king of scrolls okay that's the king of pentacles some of you might be poets writers okay people fall in love with the way you write the way you the way you you know put your words together you're a wordsmith here there's something about you being so <laughs> I'm being reminded of Alex Turner here <coughs> he's amazing with his lyrics I love it <coughs> the ascent Baby, I'm And the Queen of Forces, okay. It's the Queen of Wands. All right, and then bottom of the deck, we have Four of Roses, view, views of the ego, okay. Tuning into some gorgeous energies here. Someone has already chosen you, someone will choose you. I don't know, I keep hearing that. I choose you. We have the two of spells, okay? Two of wands. <coughs> <coughs> we have the king of cups. King of Wands. That is the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands. We have the Knight of Swords and the High Priestess. Okay. The ten, no, that's the ten of pentacles, ten of boons, okay? The 
lovers gorgeous oh my god you guys seriously yeah someone here is in love with you definitely okay so i am tuning into this person whoever it is that's in love with you okay this person sees you as the ascent is like the both of you are ascending you see this okay The king of scrolls, the queen of forces. I think this is the king of earth and the king, uh, the queen of wands. We have the seven of keys here with the ascent, okay? The both of you are ascending. The both of you are climbing um, this mountain, this ascend, okay? This ascent, right? And the both of you are going to meet up at this ascent, okay? The both of you, look at this. You here, the queen of wands, you have balance. You've managed to balance Your night and day, okay? Your night and day, your sun and moon, your light and dark, your black and white, okay? You have this under control. You have everything under balance. This is also remind me of, reminding me of the temperance card, okay? Balance. This King of Pentacles here is writing things about you. Okay, I'm hearing like this person is writing about you. All right, I don't know whether this per person is putting it in art. All right, you and your essence, the way the, your vulnerability is, it's almost like you're amused to this person because this creature here this beautiful creature here is some someone or something that this person has never come across before all right you're so unique this is why people fall in love with you specifically this person here okay i'm also seeing with the queen of wands king of wands i feel like whoever this is that's in love with you they have earth water and fire heavily in their chart because we have the king of scrolls the um king of earth king of cups and the king of wands he's coming up as all kings well not all kings but this is the knight of swords here so he has like he has a nice balance whoever this is he or she okay it doesn't matter but and with the high priestess here okay this person loves your intuition loves your witchy ways i'm hearing your intuitive ways your empathic ways your your etherealness your your wisdom this person and you are connecting on the 5d so heavily at the moment views of the ego the both of you can see other people's egos okay you can you can tell who or what is um, operating off their ego and you you kind of don't judge them for it because you kind of understand it's, it's almost like you understand that's why you're so forgiving you're so forgiving of people you understand where they're coming from because you're an empath you can see like when you when you see someone you can see the things that they've been through you can see why they became the way they became okay why they became the way they became <laughs> i don't know you guys <laughs> um yeah This person is writing about you, this person is making art about you, this person is thinking about you, this person is looking towards you as a muse. This person sees you as a muse, literally. With the seven of boons here, the seven of, seven of pentacles at the bottom of the deck, okay, this person is going to open up so many doors for you, all right? But you need to see this within yourself. You, I feel like, You're beginning to see that you are your own muse. Once you come into that energy that you are your own muse, your pain is your muse, your your empathy, your 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 forgiveness is your muse to yourself, all right? 
this person sees it within you. They're coming in fast here. They've made as it, I told you, this person has chosen you, okay? Two of Wands is making a decision, okay? And this person can see you who is operating off their ego who is operating off of their shadows who has not done their shadow work who is you know but at the same time you don't judge them for it because you understand where they're coming from sometimes yes it hurts it 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 seems unfair to you it seems unfair maybe sometimes you feel like why do I why am I the one who's always forgiving you know but you don't understand like like People like you are visionaries, okay? People like you are psychic. You have the door, like you have the door. You have you have access to the Akashic records, and this is the Akashic um, tarot. And I haven't used this tarot deck. Tarot, what am I saying? Tarot deck for a very very long time. For some reason i haven't used it i don't know why i haven't used it for a long time but i felt guided to take it out today so specifically for this reading the both of you are going to meet at this ascent i'm hearing seven of keys seven of pentacles seven seven you might see seven 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 a lot seven could be a significant number okay 77 777 this person is in love with you, they just haven't told you yet. They're coming forwards quick, um, very quickly here. For some reason, I'm hearing with the Knight of Swords and the Two of Wands here, within two, two days to two weeks, literally two days to two weeks, this person is going to come in and communicate with you from whenever it is that you watch this, all right? No I in threesome. I feel like you believe in, you know, um, partnership, loyalty, okay? This is what makes people fall in love with you. And like I said, you have learned to balance your sun and moon, your dark and light, your night and day. Your shadow, yeah, your shadow and your light. This really reminds me of the Temperance card because she's she's in some water here, right? She's on land and she's on water. And I feel like with the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands here, it's like this is representing you. You have managed to balance out both your masculine and your feminine. You might be a very strong fire sign here with some air in your chart, some... It's like the both of you have this, like, maybe your, your, your natal charts or your birth charts, like, match each other very well, okay? And with the lovers here, like, you understand what love is, and this is why people fall in love with you. You know what true love is, you know... You know what unconditional love is. It's 11-11. Damn, you guys. Definitely, this person is coming in very, very soon with the king, uh, king, I said king of swords. The, the knight of swords here, this person is coming in fast, okay? I feel like this person is creating something with the, with the, I'm seeing he's holding all these scrolls. These scrolls, to me, represent art. Creating something, but this something that they're creating is... is because of you. You're their muse. You stood by my side and life is wine. Yeah. They're creating something and this thing is dedicated to you. Whatever it is that they're creating is dedicated to you. There's no I in threesome. You know your worth. 
and this is why people fall in love with you. You know that you're not going to be second choice. You know that you you don't deserve to be second choice. You always de you deserve to be chosen. All right. With ascent here, look at this Ten of Pentacles, King of Cups, and the ascent. You and this person, you're going to have this amazing, beautiful relationship with each other. You guys are going to balance each other out so well. This person sees you as a family person, okay? This person wants you to be included in their family. You see that? Like, they want a big family with you. And if they don't, and if you, you don't want a big family, let's say if you don't want a big family, they still want this family life with you. They want you included in their everyday life. They want you included in their life. With Seven of Keys and Seven of uh, Boons here, it's, it's almost like this person is going to open up so many doors for you. And you have opened up doors to their creativity because of you just being you, you just being your vulnerable self, your empathic self, your unique self, okay? This person loves your eyes. I'm seeing like this person loves your eyes. I feel like this person has seen you cry. Or maybe maybe they've dreamt you crying. This person has seen you cry. And it just, you know, I feel like this person just fell in love with you when they saw you cry, when, you, when they saw you pour your heart out. When this person saw how forgiving you are of your past. This person immediately fell in love with you. And you opened doors to their creativity. I feel like maybe this person could have been going through some um, like uh, what writer's block or or yeah writer's block or uh, about of a spell of you know non non creativity. <laughs> they didn't have a muse when you came into their life. You became their muse. You're like a muse to others. That's why people fall in love with you. And even though you're the type to keep all of your emotions within, all right, with the, the King of Cups here, I'm seeing with this fish here, right? Even though you're the type to keep all of your emotions within, right? You, it, it, it tends to come out and it's art. When you, when you cry, it's almost like art. And when you cry, the more you cry, you alchemize, you alchemize your pain. And when you alchemize your pain, you ascend. The more you ascend, the more you, your, your body even starts healing, you know. And this person loves the balance between your dark side, your shadow side, and your light side. It's like you, you look good in the sun and you look, I mean, you look good in the day and you look good at night. This person is, it's almost like, They can't tell whether you are a day person or a night person, but they love how balanced you are. You're like a goddess to them. True love, you understand what true love is, you understand what unconditional love is, and it's not easy. It is not easy to love someone unconditionally. It's not easy to to get to the point where you understand completely what unconditional love is. Because you send love to even those that hurt you. Even those even to those that, you know, irk you, that, that irritate you, that you know, even even though you I feel like you do feel hate. You've felt you've felt that before, but you know that it's, there's no point in you spreading your hate. So it's almost like that hate, that those those heavy feelings that you feel, 
you alchemize it by crying because where does hate, anger and all of these like um, harsh emotions come from? It comes from a place of sadness. The base emotion is sadness. Hurt. Feeling hurt. And when you alchemize, you, you alchemize it into love okay doors are opening up for you like for real two two of wands here it's like I'm, I'm really sensing two days to two weeks this person is going to communicate with you or you're going to see like they're going to release some sort of art music peace I don't know, there's something that is dedicated to you, something that, that represents you, something they made that represents you, okay? I'm really sensing that this person could be an artist, musician, poet. person loves your hair I'm seeing okay you love looking at your face you love looking at your hair you love staring into your eyes they love it when 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 you are deep in thought I'm hearing okay when you're deep in thought when you're they're always wondering like what goes on in that head of yours you you always seem like you 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 have like this glassed over look I'm seeing like this glassed over look where you're always looking into the distance or you're looking into some other dimension and this person loves watching you just be the both of you with the ascent here and ten of pentacles you guys be excited these doors are opening up for you. You are going to create a lot of abundance with whoever this is. By you just being you, being their muse. I mean, the both of you could be artists, okay? Views of the ego, it's like, you love yourself unconditionally and that you love your both your shadow and your light you love you love all of you that's why you can see like you understand where other people are coming from it's like you look at that queen of scrolls queen of pentacles at the bottom of the deck here the both of you oh my god like i said the both of you are artists here the both of you are writers painters drawers artists i don't know what it is okay musicians You have a lot of compassion for yourself, for your pain, for your trials and tribulations, for the things that you've been through. And when you know how to have compassion for yourselves, you, autom you automatically have compassion for others. Even though, of course, you know, sometimes, you know, <laughs> you get irked and annoyed certain people and why they act a certain way but you always get these downloads on why they they people people you know act the way they do 
It hurts you, yes. But when you cry, the more you cry, you soften your heart. The more you cry, it's like these flowers bloom around you. You alchemize your pain into growth. Okay? And that's why people fall in love with you. All right? So the signs I'm seeing is strong earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, um, strong fire signs, um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, okay? I'm seeing Gemini. I'm also seeing strong uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio with King of uh, Cups here too, okay? All right? So um, pile number one, that is why people fall in love with you or one specific person here is deeply in love with you all right you're the muse i'm hearing okay so i'm gonna end the reading there thank you so much for coming to my reading i hope that reading resonated with you it is so warm it's fucking hot tonight you guys like, seriously maybe this person sees you as someone who's hot the queen of wands is hot you know the witch they love your witchy ways too okay i'm getting more downloads they love your witchy ways they love your the way you 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 manage to it's, it's almost like you command energy around you that's what i'm hearing by just it's 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 almost like you touch energy around you did you see this like she's touching something in the air other people don't see it only she sees it what she's touching i'm here i'm also hearing midas touch okay we have the midas touch Anything or anyone that you touch turns to gold. Okay? That's why people fall in love with you. And don't take that literally. <laughs> Duh. Right? Something about alchemization here. There's something about... I'm also hearing the Philosopher's Stone. I'm also hearing Solve et Coagula. Okay? You're onto something here, pile number one. You are definitely onto something here. You're going to be, you and this person is going to be achieving amazing, amazing things in this life. You watch and see. The both of you are ascending. Ascending to, yeah, to the same point. Okay. Very soon. It is already done, I'm hearing. Okay. Pile number one, what an amazing, amazing pile. Um, I hope that reading resonated with you. If it didn't resonate with you, you can go ahead and choose another pile. If it did resonate with you, um, remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, and also hit that no notification bell so you guys get notified on future uploads. If you'd like to book a personal reading uh, from me, you can find my email details down below in the description box. Email me there and I will send you the rates. Um, I'm still having a 50% discount on all of my reading rates at the moment up until the 21st of July. So if you would like to take advantage of the discount, I suggest you make a booking uh, very soon. Um, and uh, thank you so much for all the bookings, for all the donations, for all the likes, for all the comments, for everything you guys. I truly, truly appreciate each and every single one of you for supporting me and my channel and, um, and my journey. And um, yeah, I will see you guys in my next video, okay? Bye. Hi, pal number two. So you guys chose this card right here. Um, I consume only my fair share, okay? Before I start channeling, I'm going to use the sound bowl to clear the energy and also see the vibration. I'm hearing cheerfulness. Giving. Community, bringing people together, All right. <clears throat> now 
Nice. Okay, so what I'm getting from this card straight away is that you guys know how to bring people together. There's something about community here. There's something about friendship. Okay, people fall in love with you because you are someone that brings easily brings people together. All right. People from all walks of life, I'm hearing, all right? Some of you might have red hair here. I'm seeing, I'm being drawn to the red hair. Like, people fall in love with your hair color. It doesn't have to be red. It could be black hair, too. I'm seeing black hair, red hair. Like, I'm seeing colored hair, pink hair, okay? Even green hair, okay? So, you might have, like, different colored hair. Or you might change up your hair color a lot, okay? People fall in love with the way you are always transforming. I'm here transforming, okay? Um, you're very giving here. I'm seeing that you you are very giving of your energy, and can, can I consume only my fair share? It's like you're fair. You treat e people equally, okay? This is why people fall in love with you. You treat people equally. I'm also being drawn to this uh, the eye makeup here. Some of you might be makeup artists, okay? Some of you might be really good at makeup. Um, yeah. The way you do your makeup is very centric, okay? I'm also seeing like, I'm being drawn to all the colors on the cards here. It's like, you're very colorful, you're very cheerful, you're very vibrant, okay? You're very, um, yeah. I'm also hearing body positivity. You guys are into body positivity. People love the way that you are so comfortable with your, with your body, with with the way you look, it doesn't matter what you look like. It's like you love yourself. You love, um, you love cheering people up, or you you love cheering people on, or you love supporting people. You are, you are a strong supporter of your friends here. You're a really good friend. I'm hearing. People love the way you support. People also love the way that you 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 almost know you you know like exactly when to say things there's certain things that you say that might crop up in a conversation at just the right time you know the, the way you open up people's minds okay the way you expand other people's minds the way you um, human condition decisions. you're very decisive I'm hearing you make good decisions for your life and for others you might be the type that you know you, you might be the one that a lot of people come to for advice you could be a psychic, you, be, you could be a tarot reader here too, I'm seeing. Okay, she looks like she's wearing a turban and you know that third eye is just like reaching others, right? So you're very, yeah, you're very psychic here. You could be a psychic, you could be a medium. Someone who channels divine knowledge. And you use that to bring people together. I'm, I'm hearing sisterhood, okay? <laughs> I mean, you probably have a coven. Sisterhood, brotherhood, okay? Whatever you call it. But you're very supportive of others. You're like the ride or die friend. Vibrant. People love 
your um, your cheerfulness, your your there's something about you that's so upbeat. Yes, upbeat. Okay. I'm getting a song. I'm walking on sunshine. Whoa, I'm walking on sunshine. Whoa, I'm walking on sunshine. It's 114. So I don't know if you guys are seeing that number. You're a really good friend. A beat, a beat. You have a colorful personality, and you also have a what's what's that called? Jesus Christ. Maybe you're religious, okay? Or not not religious, but you you believe in Jesus, but. Um, you don't necessarily have to be religious, but you, you, Christ consciousness, I'm hearing Christ consciousness, okay, you might be into, uh, yeah, oneness, yeah, you bring people together. You know how to bring people together, and this is why people fall in love with you, okay, very fair with others, you don't, you're not judgmental, you love making friends with others. People from all walks of life okay the Oracle of Delphi yeah you're like an Oracle to others yeah this is a very cheerful song the game of love okay and uh, intricacies and industry okay seven of scrolls The Queen of Keys, okay? I think that is, if I'm not mistaken, that is the Queen of Air, okay? And then we have Archangel Michael at the bottom of the deck, okay? So yeah, some of you might work with Archangel Michael, okay? You're very protected. People feel like this protective energy around you about you you're very protective of your friends people feel protected around you people feel like you know you take people under their wing uh, sorry you take people under your wing that's what I'm hearing that's why people fall in love with you you're very uplifting yeah that's what I'm hearing. People love the way you work. You are very, you're a very hard worker here. I've been going to use this Alice in Wonderland deck because you guys are very, very colorful here. <clears throat> vibrancy. There's such a vibrancy, cheerfulness to you. Like, not much can get you down for very long, you know? We have the devil, okay? Under Oracle of Delphi. Capricorn energy there. We have the Five of Wands, okay? Eleven forty-four. You might be seeing 444. We have the Magician and the Hermit. Gorgeous. Virgo energy, Gemini energy. We have the Tower. Wow. Two of Cups. <laughs> Yeah. There are a lot of people who are in love with you, pal number two. 
your complex being ace of wands yeah you're you turn people on i'm hearing okay there's something about you that turns people on ten of pentacles again from a different deck okay so ten of pentacles at the bottom of the deck you might be drawn to another uh pal okay another pal might my my uh describe another side of you but this this side of you is like You might be in the public eye. You don't necessarily have to be a tarot reader or a psychic or something, but you are very, very intuitive. You're in tune. You're in tune. Tapped in, turned, tuned in, tapped in, turned on. That's what I'm hearing, okay? With the devil in the tower and the oracle of Delphi here, it's almost like people think that you might work with... <laughs> You know the, the the devil here doesn't necessarily have to be but people people might have a misconception of you know you working with the devil or that you worship the devil or something and that's how you get all your powers but I don't think so the devil in the tower here it's like people are obsessed with you that's what I'm hearing people people easily get obsessed with you because you're colorful because of your colorful personality because of your um, for some of you I'm not sensing that you're 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 animated you're not so animated but there's something about you you're very uh, there's your essence it's like the way you talk the way you move the way you the tone in your voice you know and there are a lot of people here who are in love with you with the two of cups here and the five of wands there's there are a lot of people who are fighting for your attention all right intricacies and in industry maybe th these are people at your workplace or um whatever it is that you do for work all right you are a powerful magician here you're a powerful manifester you manifest things easily like that yeah with the ace of wands here it's like you just you know with a flick of the wand oh my god seriously <laughs> just threw that um with a flick of the wand right wingardium leviosa <laughs> that's what i'm hearing the queen of keys queen of air I feel like this is the queen of air queen of swords you're very precise yeah you're very communicative you're very straight to the point like your words have mm, you know there's there's an underlying meaning to the things that you say and people people love the way there's another you know like wordplay you might be a wordsmith you might be again I'm, I'm sensing poets here you might be very good with your words bloggers writers okay i'm more sensing writers here okay you might write very well and the way you write like i think i think you would do well with scripting okay for you to manifest things into reality like you you write things into reality, you write things into being, you write things into the physical. Whatever you write becomes tangible, okay? And you're very abundant here. This is why people fall in love with you because you are an abundant being. You are, you know, people also love the fact that you you know, with the Hermit and the Magician here, it's strong Virgo. I'm sensing Gemini, but also strong Virgo. But you keep to yourself. You know how to keep to yourself, even though you're so animated. You know, you have like this... You have a gorgeous personality. That's what I'm hearing. Like your personality, you're very interesting to talk to. You know, you have so many interesting, intri intricate things to say. Intricacies and in industry. You know how things work. You, you're fucking smart. People love your mind. Yeah, with the Queen of Swords here, people love your mind. People love your mind. People fall in love with your mind. The Oracle of Delphi.
You may have had a past life in Greece, okay? As an oracle. Some of you might have beautiful voices here with the Queen of Swords here and um, yeah, with the Oracle of Delphi, I'm, I'm hearing someone's gorgeous voice. Okay, there's something in your voice that people fall in love with. It's like when you speak, you know, your voice, you speak things into existence. You have a gorgeous voice. I love this song. The things that you, um, some of you might even be seers or, you know, you, you get premonitions and the things that you say, like, brings the tower, it's, it's like people are in awe with the devil here and, and the tower, it's like they're in awe with the things that you say, they're in awe with how you predict things or how, how they resonate so well with you. like a lot of people you might be in the public eye like I was saying I'm sensing like someone who is in the public eye because with the five of wands here there are a lot of people who are competing for your attention okay and there's something is something to do with your industry here or there are a lot of people who are co competing with you too okay for your affection for your love for your attention okay I want to be yours like uh, this is what people are saying I want to be I want to be yours I want to be the one who ends up with you I want to be you know seen with you I want your attention Yeah, your voice, man. I'm sensing some some male energies here, okay? So if you are a dude, like your voice, your voice, there's something about your voice. It's just so sexy, okay? Some of you might be called Michael. Someone here might be called Michael. Someone here might have D names. I'm hearing David. I'm hearing Daniel. I'm hearing D. Damien D. 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 I'm hearing like, dude, how did you know? You know, you speak things into existence for other people. That's why people fall in love with you. You have power in your voice. You have power in the things that you say. You have power in your visions. And you have power by, by being able to bring people together. Like, you can bring crowds of people together. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <clears throat> mm. If you aren't using that voice of yours, you should be. Okay? Don't hide it. Cuz you have a tendency to hide. I'm hearing you you have you have a tendency to keep to yourself with the hermit here. I'm hearing. But it's almost like when you do keep to yourself, it's like that's that's what makes people like, you know, <laughs> um fiend for you more. Like they're they're they just can't get enough of you, you know? 
inter, inter uh, intricacies okay so intricacies is like the way your words are intricate you know the way you put together your words spells you know that words are spells when you put words together they become spells okay and you're aware of this in here so be careful of what you speak into existence all right okay that's why people fall in love with you some of you might like to dress very um eccentrically here okay you you guys are eccentric i'm hearing eccentric there's there's an eccentricity to you all right uh, yeah mad hatter i'm hearing okay i'm hearing johnny depp i'm hearing you know you you <laughs> mad hatter yeah Willy Wonka. People desire you. There, there are people who literally desire you, lust for you. Okay? You have a tendency, maybe this is why you hide away because people, it's easy for people to lust after you or desire you. Okay, this is maybe why you, you, you tend to keep to yourself. You know how to protect your energy, I'm hearing, okay? Quite private about your life. Your voice is sexy. Yeah, your voice turns people on with the Ace of Wands here. <laughs> All right. Ten of Pentacles. I think you have a. For some reason, I'm hearing like you have a, a a lovely sleeping face when you sleep. When you're sleeping, like I don't know if you've had like past lovers who like to stare at you sleeping. You know, and you might you might have thought like, what the fuck? That's a bit weird. But it's because you have this lovely sleeping face. Animals or cats in general might be drawn to you. Even cats are in love with you and your energy, okay? I'm seeing here with these, you have strong ancestors who are looking over you and looking over your abundance. I feel like your abundance is given to you by your ancestors. There's something about your ancestors here. See that? With all the, the ancestors' pictures. You might have, you know, at home, you might have pictures of your great grandmother, great grandfather at your home, okay? And and these are the people who are watching over you, okay? On the other side, all right. Underneath that, King of Cups again. I wonder if some of you are watching, like, are, are about to watch all piles or something, because I'm tuning into, like, this, not the same energies, but the same type of people just different different sides of you okay you're very emotional I'm here Scorpio moon okay Capricorn Gemini Virgo um, Scorpio yeah with the tower here Scorpio um, yeah, those are the signs I'm seeing at the moment. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. Okay. For some reason, I'm hearing like brotherhood people. Your your friends love you. Like your friends love being around you because you're. Some of you might be, you know. You have a good sense of humor too. I'm hearing. You make people laugh. That's why people fall in love with you easily. You know how to make people laugh. You allow people to laugh with you and not laugh at you. Mm 
yeah. I'm seeing like you know you you would defend your friends like if your friends get into a fight you'd be <laughs> you'd be you'd be in that fight like defending your friends brotherhood sisterhood that's what I'm hearing yeah Saturn time I'm hearing the Lord of Time is always watching over you, okay? Okay? Your magic. With Oracle of Delphi here, I'm hearing perform miracles too. Miracles? I think you've seen yourself, you, you, you've, you've witnessed yourself perform miracles for some reason, that's what I'm hearing. That's, that's powerful, you guys. Pound number two, who are you? One could be a significant number, seven could be a significant, significant number here, and nine. Okay. So pal number two, that's your pal. I think I'm going to end the reading there. Thank you so much for coming to my pal. I hope that, um, coming to my pal, coming to my reading. I hope that reading resonated with you. If that reading uh, didn't resonate with you, you can go ahead and choose another pal. If it did resonate with you, remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, and also hit that notification bell so you guys get notified on future uploads. If you'd like to book a personal reading from me, you can find my email details down below in the description box. Email me there and I'll send you the rates. Right now, I'm having a 50% discount on all of my rates. So if you'd like to take advantage of that, you can. And uh, yeah email me and book a reading with me thank you so much for all the bookings for all the donations for all the likes for all the comments for everything you guys i truly truly appreciate each and every single one of you and uh yeah thank you so much um i will see you guys in my next video okay bye hi pal number three so you guys chose this card right here i care for the earth Right. Okay, but before I start channeling this card right here, I'm going to clear the energy. number three I think people fall in love with you because you are sensual okay your sensual nature right with the sneak there up there right you're very sensual there's something about you you ooze sexuality sensuality your voice oozes it the way you move the way you Maybe some of you are dancers, okay, singers, all right? Some of you, some of you are mothers here, okay? I'm seeing some of you are mothers, single mothers. You care for the earth. Some of you might be uh, activists, I'm hearing too, okay? Um, animal lovers. I'm seeing the galaxy. You guys are goddesses here, okay? Divine feminines. I'm hearing divine feminines. You're nurturing. 
your nurturing nature, okay, your compassion. You care for the earth. Some of you might be into recycling. Some of you might be, you know, animal lovers. You're animal activists. You, you, you care for the earth. Like you literally care for the earth. You might be good with plants. Some of you might, might be massage therapists. Reiki healers. You're good with children. Animals love you. You have a connection to animals. People love your nurturing nature. People love the way you, like, people fall in love with you because you know how to take care of yourself. Maybe you, you teach others how to take care of themselves. You teach self-love in others, all right? And you give birth to galaxies here, okay? Stars. You give birth to stars. You're very sensual. I'm getting like this very sensual goddess energy to you guys. Sexy. People fall in love with you because you're sexy and not sexy in the sense like you're it's not about it's not about all the skin that you show or what what it's it's not just physical, you know, it's your essence. You know, your energy is sexy, your mind is sexy, your words are sexy, your voice is sexy, the way you walk is sexy, the way you talk is sexy, you know, the way you touch others is sexy, even the way you cook, you know, <laughs> I'm seeing someone who, yeah, maybe, maybe you're a good cook, you know how to keep a good home. You'd make a good wife, good husband. Very nurturing. Very gentle with your touch, you know? You're very gentle with the way you speak to your animals, you, you speak to children, kids. You know how to care for the sick. Some of you might be seeing swans, okay, you might be, you might be, you have a long neck, I'm hearing, okay, people love your long neck and people also love, like, your skin, I'm hearing, like, um, yeah, there's something about you taking care of yourself, you're very into, you know, self-care, self-love, right? You give good hugs. Your hugs are healing, I'm hearing. Your energy is healing. I'm sensing like, you know, Queen of Cups energy here, like water energy here. Passionate too. Yeah, you're passionate, but in a very subtle way, you know. Uriel and the Sphinx, okay, we have that. I'm hearing Earth Angels, Earth Angel, Earth Angel, okay, those two came out. We have Hilarion, 
Okay, Hilarion. Wow. Some of you are mediums here, okay? You can speak to the dead. You can speak to those from the other side. You channel the dead. You channel angels. Okay? The lookout. Alright? You can sense danger before it comes. You know how to evade danger. I think this is why people fall in love with you because you, you're, you're, very, you're this protective energy. The lookout. You warn people of things to come. I forgot what Uriel, Angel, Archangel Uriel stands for. Give me a second. Let me try and get this. Twenty-one. Give me a sec, you guys. Okay, I'm not familiar with this deck yet. Uriel and the Sphinx. The Archangel Uriel stands before the Sphinx under the full moon. The Sphinx is usually shown with the body of a lion, indicating strength. So some of you might be Leo here, and the head of a king, showing authority and intelligence. But more than this, the Sphinx represents the en enigmatic and inscrutable, the silent holder of truth and the ancient mysteries of the world. Here, the Archangel Uriel connects and confers with this great source of mystery, okay? This card... This card shows that it's time for you to do the most important and possibly the most difficult work in your life. The digging and inner discovery that takes you to your deepest self and your deepest power. And even the great sphinx had to be dug out many times from the blowing desert sands that buried it up to its neck. And you must dig diligently too. You may have to chip away at the rock-like substance of your old beliefs and histories so that you can get to the truth inside. But don't worry, you have begun already and you've made considerable inroads. There's also someone here to help you, Uriel, whose name means fire of God. Yeah, I feel like you guys, some of you might be fire signs too, okay? Uh, I was sensing Leo just now. You can work directly in your meditations with this Archangel for self-understanding, transformation and guidance. Also be on the lookout for someone in your daily life who Uriel has sent. This could be a teacher, a mentor or even a new friend who shares a kinship with you about this inner quest. It is a relationship of great value that comes in a time of profound power. Don't diminish the importance of this phase. It is this work that leads you to your initiation and to your higher power. Okay. Yeah, very powerful message there. Sense the Archangel Uriel approach you and send his energy into you. Take a deep breath and feel yourself fill with the desire to carve out a new life for yourself. Let this force and purpose swell within you. With them, you can blast away the old and create this new life into every moment. I think you guys, like I said, you know how to recreate others. You help others recreate themselves, you know, through self-care, self-love, you know. It's like um, you you chisel away at at you help other people chisel away at their old selves. You know you help other people dig deep into themselves. You know I'm hearing know thyself, know thyself, right? Okay. And with Hilarion here, I really like. I'm. You see this? There's some ghostly figures there. In the middle I don't know whether this is a church it looks like a church it looks like church windows or those um, stained glass windows yeah you guys are mediums you you maybe you get dreams of people from your past like or, or people from uh, people who have passed over Okay. Some of you are into, you know, the paranormal, the ghosts, you know, you're not scared of ghosts, I'm hearing, okay? You're not scared of the paranormal, you're not scared of the, the, the darker, maybe you, some of you are occultists too, okay? You're into the esoteric, I'm hearing. Some of you can help people you know some of these souls like cross over to the other side
earthbound souls I'm hearing. Your mediums. People fall in love with your ability to do this, you know? You have strange powers, I'm hearing. And it's almost like you can you can tell of what's to come. It's these spirits, it's these um, you know souls from the other side that tell that tell you of things to come. I'm hearing with the lookout here. It's like you can tell when when you know danger is um, in front of you. Premonitions, you get premonitions. I'm hearing. Some of you might want to work with Archangel Uriel, okay? So 21 could be a significant number, 3, 5, um, 17, or 8, all right? Uh, some of you, you know, people fall in love with your ability to sympathize with others. Yeah, I'm here. The lookout. We have the moon. Yeah, some of you might work with the moon cycles too, okay? People love your, your, your... People fall in love with your... Darkness, okay? Uh, we have the Eight of Swords here, okay? Page of Wands. Seven of Wands, Six, seven of Wands, five of Wands. That came in. That came out in another pile too. Okay, so we have Eight of Cups, Yeah, I I hear that you have the ability to help people move on from the things that have been troubling them you know things that they haven't been able to forgive because I have a belief that you know when you aren't able to forgive your past right you're not able to forgive your past you're not able and and then you pass over to you know you you transition to the other side which means death right when you transition to the other side and you haven't been able wow well, look at that death yeah there's something about you this is crazy. Okay, pile number three. You can tell, you know, when if some people are coming to the end of their life, but not necessarily. It's like it's like transitioning. You know, you don't really die, right? You only pass over to another dimension. Okay, you never die. Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Okay, you're going to make a lot of money doing this. There's something about you using this power of yours to keep a lookout for, you know... Wow, I don't know why I'm hearing this. Evade death? Help others forgive? You can help other people forgive so that they can cross over easily, okay? Usually, it's these earthbound spirits who have not forgiven or have not uh, gotten the forgiveness forgiveness of others, okay? Or when, when you're an earthbound spirit, it's because there's unfinished business. You can't cross over to, to the other side for you to do the life review and all that, right? I don't know how to explain this, but this is what I'm seeing, okay? So some of you might... might might understand this when I say this like you can tell when people are coming to the end of a cycle I'm hearing okay end of a cycle so with the lookout and death here 
It's like you can help others release any kind of resentment, any kind of unforgiveness, so that they can transition easily. There's something about you uh, being, a sh I'm hearing shaman here too, okay? You have a very strong connection to the other side, okay? To, to, to the unseen here, all right? You're into the esoteric, you're into the occults, right? You're into the, the, the mysteries of the paranormal, okay? With the moon here and the five of wands. People fall in love with your depth too, I'm hearing. There's more, I'm being drawn to the, the more darker colors here and red. You're not afraid of the dark, you're not afraid of your demons, all right? You're not afraid of them anymore. You can face them. I personally don't necessarily believe in demons, okay? I believe that, you know, everyone has a dark and light side and the demons that people see is basically your shadows pushed out, you know, from your subconscious mind. It has to, you know, um, materialize in the physical. If you do not, if you don't, if you don't, you know, integrate and 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 reel in your shadow or, yeah, those things become demons. Basically, it's part of you, right? So you help others integrate their shadow. And with eight of cups here and eight of swords, eight, eight, again, eight. Yeah, eight, eight, eight. You guys are going to find a lot of abundance by working in, by, by, by working with this, you know, going into this, this, this line of work. channel the dead when you are able to marry me just for fun witches okay some of you are witches here okay some of you really do work with you know entities and people have such a misconception about you know like ghosts and stuff like they're not, they're not evil they're, there's there's to, to me yes there's a such thing as evil okay but evil is born out of karma okay Past life karma, born out of past life karma, born out of unforgiveness, not being able to forgive your past, not being able to, you know, when you when you die and you you're not able to forgive things or you're not able to put things to rest, that's when you need to come back and you, you come back and you 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 know it's almost like you're on that karmic wheel of repeating the same lessons over and over and over again. So you are able to help people see what they need to let go of I'm hearing the dark feminine here, okay? You're not afraid of your shadow People love your ability to dive deep within your subconscious mind, okay? Mm 
very into the occult here. I'm hearing. The five of wands here. You might have like people around you who are envious of you, you know, um, you know, sending you energetic attacks, psychic attacks and stuff. But you have a you know you you have a job here to do you you on earth basically i care for the earth which means you help people get off the wheel of karma you know clear out their karma so that they can transition you know so that their future generations do not have to take on like that karma okay very interesting pal, okay? I also see that you guys are in touch with your inner child here, with the page of wands here. You're very passionate. Like I said, you have the sensuality with you, the dark, dark sensuality. It's... People easily can melt into you. That's what I'm hearing, okay? You know, by you performing like these, um, you know, not performing, it's like you working with the paranormal here, right? With the occult, esotericism, right? It's almost like people look at you and they believe that you can perform miracles. But really, it's, it's passed down to you. You've, you've ha some of you have had a past life in Egypt, okay? tap into the Akashic records too yeah you can tap into the Akashic records you can pinpoint the things that people have brought in from past lives to clear out in this life and if 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 someone here is let's say you have a client and they come to you and they say like I don't understand why this is happening to me round and round and round you know it is sort of like someone being you know worried constantly worried by their own thoughts like constantly being 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 um disturbed by their own thoughts you can help them transition from that by helping them learn how to forgive and release when you release you can, you 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 it's like a burden is being lifted Get down on your knees, get down on your knees again. I'm hearing you're very devoted to your craft. So you put your heart and soul into it. And that's why you, you know, your passion with, with all this fire I'm seeing here. It's like, and yeah, with the page of wands here, it's like, that passion comes from your inner child okay so this is something that probably you've been you've been interested in since you were a child okay you you were into the paranormal since you were a child there's a reason why you you know there's always a reason why you are drawn to these things okay you've brought these gifts in from a past life hilarion is also uh, uh, an ascended master that helps with um, Manifestations, I, th I think. Sacred geometry too, I'm hearing. Manifesting through sacred geometry. Here. I changed playlists and this song still came out. <laughs> I guess Spirit loves this song. Okay. Yeah. Master of transformation here, I'm hearing. Visionary, I'm hearing. 
and people are in love with this gift of yours, all right? So own it, all right? Pile number three, I'm gonna end the reading there. I hope that didn't go on too long. I hope that reading resonated with you. If it didn't resonate with you, you can go ahead and choose another pile. If it did resonate with you, remember to like, comment, share. If it didn't resonate with you, what, what am I saying? What am I saying? <laughs> if it did resonate with you, remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, and also hit that notification bell so you guys get notified on future uploads. If you'd like to book a personal reading from me, you can find my email details down below in the description box. Email me there and I'll send you the rates. I am still having a 50% discount on all of my reading rates up until the 21st of July. So if you want to take advantage of that, I suggest you do and make a booking with me. Um, thank you so much for all the bookings, for all the donations, for all the likes, for all the comments, for all the support that you guys show me. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, you guys. I truly appreciate each and every single one of you from the center of my heart. And uh, yeah, thank you, you guys. I will see you guys in my next video, okay? Bye.